The ABS function in Excel is a simple function to use. However, it can be really helpful. So let's take a look here on these two practical examples. I'm going to start with the first one, just to show how the ABS function works. Equal sign and then ABS. I'm going to double click here in the ABS function, but before we continue, the ABS function returns the absolute value of a number. Let me double click now in the ABS function, one, two, to select. And then the only criteria that the ABS function is asking me is the number that I'm going to use here within the parentheses. So the first number that I have here is negative 24. I can click in the cell or instead I can do manually type in the number negative 24. Close parentheses. I'm going to press enter and let's take a look here on what's going to happen. Enter. Okay, so basically it's returned the same number for me, but we found the sign. Or actually, it's take a negative number and convert into a positive number. And if I take this positive number right here, 55, what's going to happen? Equal sign, ABS function. Double click here, one, two, 55, enter. Okay, it continues to return the, the positive number. So you can either have a negative number or a positive one. It's always going to return the positive number itself or the number without the sign. This is how the ABS functions works here in Excel. Let's continue to do the ABS function for all the rows that we have here. Equal sign ABS, but this time, let me double click here, one, two. Instead of manually typing in the number within the parentheses, I'm going to select as the criteria the cell itself. Enter. Now I can just click here in the down right corner of the cell. Click, hold, and drag it out, and that's it. We're done. So this is how basically we can use the ABS function. It's taking the number or a result of a function, for example, and converts into a positive number itself. Here in this different example that I have, I have uh, the time in and the time out, and I need to basically to calculate the difference between these two times right here, the time in and the time out. Equals, okay, here, one important thing. I'm using a 24 hour format here. So this is why I have here 1600, 1500 and so on and so on but if you want to use you can also use the 12 hours uh, format or a.m. and p.m. okay uh, anyway it's gonna work in the same way equal sign the, the difference between these two, two times that I have here first I need to start with the largest value or the timeout minus the time in enter okay eight hours is the difference between the 1600 and 18 o'clock. I can click here now in the down right corner of the cell, click hold and drag it down to make sure all the rows contain the same function. And here we got an arrow or a lot of uh, these hashtag signs. But why is that? Because here we have a negative hour or a negative result. Always that you have a negative result as hours in Excel, you also always gonna have this arrow. And to solve this problem, we can use, of course, the ABS function to help us. So instead of just do the math like, such as this, for example, timeout minus the time in. Instead, we can take this math and put inside the ABS function. So equal sign ABS, let me double click here, one, two, and as the number, the criteria that I need to input, I need to use my math. Time in, timeout, sorry, timeout minus the time in. Close parentheses and enter, and we're done. Now, if I click here in the down right corner of the cell, hold and drag down, that's it. You are not getting the arrow anymore. But maybe, maybe, maybe here, because we are working with hours, and hours is a problem in Excel, maybe we can have a problem here. But I know that's a topic for another video. This is how you can use the ABS function to help you, you know, on your daily basis, for example, and uh, in a practical situation. But just to solve this problem right here, tell me, for example, what is the difference between 12 o'clock up to 9 o'clock or 12 p.m. up to 9 a.m. What is the difference? Okay, the difference, I don't know exactly the difference, but I think it's larger than three, than three hours. Uh, so why I got here this three? Because basically we got a, we are doing here the difference. And the difference in between 12 and 9 is equal to negative three or in the ABS function, three, three hours. If you want to get as result, the correct result, of course, maybe here, 12 p.m. up to 9 a.m., I think we're gonna have 21 hours in difference, okay? 21 hours. So to do it, anytime you go here, for example, a time in that is basically larger than the timeout, you can double click here in the function one, two, and before the ABS, you can use one minus all the function that you have, okay? So everything, minus everything. 
enter. Okay, here we got 21 hours. I can click here and drag just one cell down like this. And we're done for these two rows right here where we got the error before. So this is how we can do to read it off the, the problem. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope this ABS function now can be part of our daily basis, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know, comment down below and I see you tomorrow as every day has a new video. I see you there.